go. Stop. I'm sorry. I feel like a girl of 35 again. Oh. <laughs> My God, Miranda, do you know what this means? You're asking Steve out on a date. So, uh, you're probably standing there screening. Way to play it. Uh well, I hope you're happy. Now I'm twice as nervous about my burger date. All that stuff I said to you about Steve never happened. Don't mention it to anyone. Don't think about it. Come here. I don't see you as a fish person. Yeah, the problem with the fish is then you're into the whole fish theme. Yeah, but... I wanted burger in my bed, bath, and beyond. Immediately. I'm either leaving a very big tip. <laughs> Hello. Hey, it's me. Fuck me badly once, shame on you. Fuck me badly twice, shame on me. Is that the same? Look at that. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you name it, I've seen it. Leather couches. Two foot bongs. Okay, one drink and then we leave. And one drink means one drink. Tell me why we're going to this again. Oh. Okay, what's going on there? You don't want your new boyfriend to still be in love with the ex, but you don't want... Let's get a cab then. I see one. Hello? At a certain age, we've all had relationships that are far from past perfect. The other day to the answering machine. Hold on there, partner. This is not gonna be one of those types of calls. Deal. 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 Oh. <laughs> and this is my friend, Samantha. The wallflower. It's the fastest I've ever said I love you, but I, I, I literally could not hold it in my mouth. Can I read you my favorite part? No, I'm done talking about the book. He completely shut down. Why? Why did I have to get up on my sassy horse and ruin everything? Yeah. Doesn't Shabbos mean day of rest, i.e. ordering in? Burger? You can't just pull that line on me and walk away. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do I look all right? Don't worry, they'll love you. Oh, I think that's sweet. It's not sweet. It's pathetic how far a gal will go for a good fuck. You have a Prada abuse problem. Oh, I do, do I? Here, for you. It's the I never say fabulous, fabulous shirt. Wow. Mm. As women's roles evolve and change, we assume that men's do as well. There are hundreds upon hundreds of articles written about the new man. Why would he ask you to do that? He, he didn't. Well, I'm not really dressed very biker chick. Prada and all. And it's also a very bad sign when a couple is fighting before 9 a.m. Well, thanks for dinner. Hey, remember when a break was a good thing? Spring break, coffee break. Now it's break up. Break down. In a courtroom, a jury decides the outcome. In a relationship, the victims have to decide their own fate. What did I think I was gonna do? Badger my boyfriend into being with me? You're released. Keep it light, don't get too involved, don't get too hurt. Hi, sorry, we're leaving. I just learned you should never go to bed angry. I've got you, good. Are you ready to grab the bar? I'm ready to go to the bar. Oh, speaking of falling, I tried the trapeze yesterday for that piece that I'm writing. You're like a lint tray. What's happening back here? That Debbie is crazy. Oh, hang on a minute. As I feared, my fling had become a pain in the neck. Okay, perfect. Still, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Christ. Oh, Christ. I survived because I have a good safety net. And gifts.
gifts for previously single New Yorkers. The baby peck list? The burpee blanket? Okay, what is left? Fine, fine, I'll take four espresso cups and a pepper grinder. Yeah, okay, the little me activity chair. They say you shouldn't judge until you've walked a mile in someone else's shoes. These were new Manolas. I hadn't even done a full lap around the party. She's a fucking bitch. But she isn't, that's the thing. She's become this whole other person. It's like she's had two cesareans and a lobotomy. And she is shaming me for spending a lousy 485 bucks on myself? Sometimes it's hard to walk in a single woman's shoes. That's why we need really special ones now and then, to make the walk a little more fun. Hey, I didn't even ask what you were doing in Connecticut. Nothing. That night, I started thinking about my retro relationship. <laughs> All the way. We never did, and now we can, and your mother won't walk in with her laundry and her tab. I got it from Carrie. I got it from Miranda. I got it from Charlotte. I got it from Anthony. No, I think it's great what you're doing. I, I know just... I probably threw you for a loop the other day, but... Uh... And it's New York. Everybody's insane. Maybe later we can do a hike. Oh, I don't really hike. Neither do I. But it's good to remember, love is possible. That's it! Oh, my goodness. Look at you. I'm alive! <laughs> <You> asshole. <laughs> Honey, if it hurts so much, why are we going shopping? I have a broken toe, not a broken spirit. Well, come on then, move that booty. I'm Candy. You're a candy striper. Okay, come on, let's hurry. Uh-uh, I'm not dressed to hustle. Oh, last night Robert said I love you. <gasps> Wow, that's wonderful. On a cookie. Mm -hmm. I need more information. One lazy Wednesday afternoon later. Hello? Uh, hello, uh, good afternoon. Um... Wrong number, sorry. He said it on a cookie. I am so fucked up. Robert asked about the cookie, and it was the perfect time to say it. A single gal spends most of her life searching for the perfect male. Uh, to the land of the wooden shoes? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ladies, I'm taking a lover. Yes, a lover. Alexander Petrovsky. Um, how do you say thank you? Spasiba. E. Ah. Spasiba. Are you welcome? Ah. Spasiba. Oh, you speak Russian very well. Good morning. Yeah, sounds good to me. I miss a man with the moves. So Smith no moves? Oh, he has them. Most of them I've given him, but he has them. This chemical may also account for the series of terrifying questions that involuntarily pop into our minds after just one casual tryst. What? I need better reception. I'm going to go right over there. Don't go away. Okay. Hi. And he calls me every night before he goes to sleep. Phone sex doesn't count. Well, I'm drinking a glass of wine while we do it. I have something to tell you, and you're not going to like it. If you get married and leave me all alone, I will kill you. I'm just not used to these grand gestures. Hey, so... Yesterday, the Russian read me a Russian poem. But, you know, in English. Back in the 18th century. Oh. I'm sorry. Is this a... Formal sleepover? <laughs> a funny thing happened on the way to the opera. Wait, wait. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health? To love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. 
to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. You made me a set of keys? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Much the best. <laughs> oh, ooh, cold. Okay. You're healing nicely. The next day, I tried on two labels classic Vuitton and new mommy. Look at that. Maybe he'll change his mind. No, no, I don't think so. He had a vasectomy. But those are reversible. Hello? I'm having an anxiety attack. Brady is fine. There it was, wrapped up in a bow. The whole life that I am never gonna have with him because he had it already with somebody else. Wow, you look. Why, thank you. So, where to tonight? Later, the Russian took me somewhere else I'd never been before. The kitchen supplies department. She doesn't even look sick. But she's sick, yes. Well, she was. And my friend has nothing to do with your friend. I think you're acting like a child. And I think you're acting like an asshole. Maybe you should go for now. I'm already going. Smith is not gonna die, right? Of course not, she'll be fine. Her hair started falling out. Sweetie, we'll find you a better wig. I have left hair all over Manhattan. Every time the wind blows, I have to check to make sure I'm not bald. And something far less glamorous moved in with me. It would be childish of us to deny that our lives weren't changing. But for this night, none of us were going anywhere. Hey, watch those hands, mister. They're cold and you are warm. Oh, who are you kidding? You'd use any excuse to come in the city. I finally left the Russian's warm apartment. Oh, good God. And came home to the tropics. It's just so different and so... what? It's grown up. Can even the hottest relationship stop cold? Oh. Hey, how's it? What's wrong? Eight <laughs> floor lingerie. Ah, uh, apartment. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Do you know what you want? Uh, yes. How would you? I, I don't know. How can you people still have questions? I got all your questions answered, and, and they were good answers. Later, I still had questions filling my head, but at least they were in French. Carrie, so glad you came. Oh, I'm uh, Inet. This is... Alexander Petrovsky. I'm thrilled. Pleasure to meet you. You want to go get something to eat? Well, I'm not hungry, but I'll go sit with you. Okay. But I found a man who could make it a reality. And I wasn't going to question any of it. Some outfits wait a lifetime to be taken somewhere special. The same can be true of people. And you can drive down the street all you want. Because I don't live here anymore. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bienvenue au <laughs> Ten hours later. All dressed up and no Petrovsky to go. A day of shopping. I'm really upset. Thank you. Well, if I'm fashionably late, then Alec is very fashionable.
anyway, it's nothing terribly fancy. Just, just a cozy dinner in a quaint hotel in Paris with my ten new French friends. But the most exciting, challenging, and significant relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. <laughs>